I'm Adia from Turk Fortune and today we will explain tenants and landlords right in Turkey. So if you are or about to become a landlord or tenant in Turkey, this video is important for you. First, you should note that the annual rental increase cannot be higher than the consumer price index in Turkey. So check these rates before signing your rental agreement. Plus, there has been a new change in the law that sets the rental increase rate into a maximum of 25% until 1st of July 2023. Also in general, there is no need to serve a legal notice for the rent update every year because it is expected from tenant to increase the rent according to the agreement automatically at the end of every rental year. Another important point is that rental agreements for houses and indoor workplaces that is based on a limited time can be unilaterally extended up to 10 years by the tenant. Yes, you heard me right. A tenant that successfully pays the rent every month can stay in the house for 10 years by law unless he or she wants otherwise. So think twice before signing the agreement because the rental contracts in Turkey is a serious, legally binding and long-term relationship. But there are a few exceptions to this rule and we will discuss all of the eviction scenarios in this video. Let's say you have a tenant that pays the rent on due date successfully but you want the property empty so you want the evicted tenant that actually pays the rent. Well, this is not impossible but considerably a hard thing to do because Turkish law only offers two choices to landlord if tenant is paying the rent successfully. First, you may evict the tenant if you can prove that there is an actual need to use the property for yourself, your spouse, children or parents or people who are dependent on you. Please note that such need must be sincere and provable before a court. I mean, if you file a lawsuit for the eviction, depending on the urgency and necessity to use this property, the judge will expect to see solid evidence that shows you are financially obliged and eviction of the tenant is the only possible way for you to meet the needs. In such scenario, judge wants to see that the landlord doesn't own another property that can be used to meet the need and eviction of the tenant is the only choice. Second, you may evict a paying tenant if it's for the purpose of reconstruction, mayor repair or extension of the leased property. Such construction must be a necessity and it must be impossible to handle it with someone living in the property. If the tenant objects to your request, the claim of landlord shall be resolved in a court again. So, as you can see, removing a tenant who is successfully paying the rent is not an easy thing to do within 10 years period. But what if the tenant is not performing liabilities and causing the breach of the rental agreement? What if a tenant fails to perform a full payment? What if tenant do not respect the agreed annual rental increase? Or what if tenant delays a payment? In case the tenant decides to stop paying rents or pay less than the agreed amount, landlord can send a notice via Turkish enforcement offices to the tenant. Such offices are known as idra dairesi in Turkish and they deal with the debt collection and enforcement of court decisions in Turkey. When tenant receives notice of payment from the enforcement office, he or she has a right to raise an objection against this notice in 7 days. Otherwise, tenant has to pay the rent within 30 days. Yet, whether the tenant raise an objection or not, if tenant doesn't pay the rent within 30 days, landlord has the right to file a lawsuit for eviction. Only way to stop the lawsuit is paying the debt in 30 days. Otherwise, landlord can file a lawsuit for eviction and submit evidence to the court that shows the tenant hasn't performed the payment. After the court rules for the eviction of the property, Landlord can collect the judicial decision and submit it to the enforcement office. Then enforcement office shall enforce the court verdict and evict the tenant. But what if tenant pays the debt within the given 30 days but fails to pay the rent on time again? Well, this is another story. If the tenant fails to pay the rent on due date twice in a rental year and receives two legal notices from the landlord based on two separate delayed payments, then landlord can file a lawsuit for eviction. 
Such lawsuits should be filed within a month after the end of such rental year that tenant marked two separate delayed payments. So not only non-payments but also two delayed payments in a rental year is a solid reason to evict a tenant. After the lawsuit concludes and judge decides on a verdict to evict the tenant, landlord should go and submit such judicial verdict to the enforcement office for the handling of the eviction. Yet, please be aware that these procedures are neither simple nor quick. Best way to avoid such problem is finding a good tenant in the first place, but even the most experienced landlords can fail at deciding on someone's character. On the other hand, it is life and even the best of us can change in the course of time. It is important to have lawyers on your side on every single point of a rental relationship. If you have any questions about this topic, do not hesitate to contact us. And if you find this content helpful, please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching Truck Fortune and see you on the next video.